Exclusively on KDKA, a one-on-one -on -one interview with the newest candidate for U.S. Senate. Dave McCormick is a business executive who recently moved back to Pittsburgh from Connecticut. Only on KDKA, political editor John Delano asked McCormick about his Pennsylvania roots, which some of his opponents are questioning. I'm announcing today that I'm running for the U.S. Senate, and I'm running as a candidate that's battle-tested and Pennsylvania true. Dave McCormick, who was born in Washington, PA, grew up in Bloomsburg, southwest of Wilkes-Barre, and worked for a time in Pittsburgh, says he's always been a Pennsylvanian, even though he's lived out of state since 2005. Residency has become an issue because fellow Republican candidates, Jeff Bardos, and Kathy Barnett accused McCormick and Mehmet Oz of New Jersey and Carla Sands of California of being carpetbaggers, returning to this state just to run for office. Are you moving back to Pittsburgh just to run for the United States Senate? Well, you know, I think that I, that, that, uh, that makes me laugh in some ways. I got great Pennsylvania cred. I've, uh, I'm a seventh generation Pennsylvania. My mom and dad still live there. I've lived more than half of my life in Pennsylvania. McCormick, who just bought a house in Squirrel Hill, does appear to have deeper roots in the state than Oz or Sands. And he insists he's always been a Pennsylvanian. I never left Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has always been in my heart. And uh, sure, I was in Connecticut. I was, uh, I was leading a, a great investment from there. And I live the American dream. I've been successful. And so I'm going to come back to Pennsylvania in service. On January 3rd, he resigned as the CEO of the world's largest hedge fund, Bridgewater Associates, headquartered in Connecticut. I asked McCormick, a West Point grad and Iraq War veteran, why a highly successful businessman wants to enter politics. I think the country's going in the wrong direction, John. I really do. And I think, uh, you know, it really crystallized for me when I watched the debacle in Afghanistan and the, the, uh, the humiliation of that, the incompetence uh, associated with that. But it but really feeds a broader thing, which I think that there's a, a march of wokeness and weakness that's really taking over our country. This Senate seat has attracted lots of candidates in both parties and could determine which party controls the Senate. I also asked McCormick about a charge that he outsourced jobs overseas and the role of Donald Trump in this Senate campaign. You'll hear his response coming up at six. John Delano, KDKA News.